Right, Thomas, how are you boys today? Um, just tell us, what are we on today? What are you, what are you up to? Um, we're at Pipe and Slurry today for a dairy farm around St. So Is this up. mainly what you boys do on the slurry? or We we do about a mix. We do a lot of round bale silage and then hedge cotton, tedding and slurry as well. Slurry is the yeah. most recent so thing we took up. a busy time of year for you boys then? Aye, pretty yeah. much aye. You've been flat out? Can't complain now, it's yeah. been brave and steady, yeah. like, so it has. So is this your own setup yourself then, or? Uh, I well, it's my dad, my dad started off contracting, so it's sort of his trader and stuff, and then I took a mad idea you, you took over? Going into slurry. And <laughs> and so. so how long have you been doing doing this yourself then? Um, I think this is my fifth season now, so. Right. We're really broke and now. Yeah, yeah. I should know what I'm doing now. And how are you finding it taking control? Aye, <laughs> the learning curve. Definitely yeah, the yeah, learning curve. Yeah. It's not too bad, it's been alright. So, you're all green, are you? Or what's we the story there? Have, <laughs> we have five John Deere's. Yeah. And then there's a class, so you've cut a lot of the hedges and stuff over the winter, and then there's a 7740 as well, new home. But so, John Deere would be your go to then? John Deere is the main tractor, so it is. Have you always been John Deere? Or? No, we haven't. No, we've we've only really started went into John Deere's maybe the last five six years. Um, my dad had a lot of different makes, Massey, new homes, um, cases as well, and just John Deere's the only one that's really sort of stuck with us. You know, right, yeah. done well for us. So, so what slurry kit are you running then? Um, I'm running an Agquip outfit. So uh, James O'Kane, he got me sorted with it. Um, a 12 meter double bar and two big reelers in, so um, running majority four inch pipe and about a five inch pipe as well. There's so. what pump have you got on the go? Um, I have a Crayman pump there at the minute. I have a new pump coming, a Boyer, but I haven't just got it yet. Um, right. I have a Crayman there at the minute, and that's so you're direct pumping today, then straight from the uh, straight, straight from, from the, the store. store uh, yeah, would you do much tanking or? The majority of my work really is direct pumping, which sort of it works well for me for only have one tanker um, at the minute and I, but uh, yeah. at the minute it's all mainly direct pumping and I have a bit of chiller work, bits and pieces, you know, when I have plenty of boys I know as tankers that can get me a pull out and stuff as well, you know, which yeah. helps. So would most of your work be local to you then, or do you do much travelling around? It would be mainly local, you know, Corey and Balmoney, that kind of thing. Yeah. We, we do a bit so, of tedding there. To my brother-in-law, Kellens, um, that would be a lot. That would be all done given you for Wesley Simple or Dairy Duff Farm. Um, that would be the furthest we've ever sort of went. You know, that would be it's far enough to be quite honest with you. So where we are today, then, have you got much to do here? Is this big job or? Um, I'll take. We only started there maybe about one o'clock there, so I'll take. I'd say to seven or eight and eight to US block, and then. We'll go into that next block or reel out for the morning morning and then leave us sort of half set up for tomorrow morning again. Yeah. Hopefully have them finished for tomorrow. All doing well. So do you, do you farm yourselves as well then or is it just the contracting? Uh, aye, we do farm a wee bit there as well. Um, a lot of cattle there. But so yeah. there's work to do before you leave the yard then? Oh aye, there's, there's, yeah. you get a job <laughs> before you leave the yard already. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it is, but oh, it's not too bad. There's my dad there as well, and my brothers, so they can take a real bad of work. really to, to get around it all. No, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. plenty of people to blame. <laughs> <laughs> so ever since you've took over then, Thomas, is it sort of you that's found most of the work then, or how's it working out for you? Um, it's sort of spread out between me and my dad. Me and my dad do a lot of the organising anyway, and then right. My other brother there, he would drive another tractor for us, and then yeah. we employ the boys as well there. So there's Sam Graham with us there today. He's pumping for me. Um, and we have a couple other men sort of come sort of whenever we need them sort of thing, you know, yeah. they have other jobs, but they're brave and flexible, you know, too, which yeah. uh, means a lot, you know, for if we didn't have the staff, we wouldn't if I do what we do or we are doing the day, you know. So. I see you've got the uh, wide tyres on her on the back. Mm -hmm. What are you running on? Running ten fifties on the back. Yeah. And then just normal five forty sixty fives on the front then. Um, just to travel a bit lighter. Yeah, try and travel a bit lighter. There's ever since the band sort of opens, 
a lot of my ground would be sort of just chancy enough, you yeah, know, and I've seen yeah. these a thousand fifties yeah. sitting. It's actually a friend of mine had them and asked him if they'd sell them, he wasn't using them because he had already bought a newer set and um, sort of worked out well, fell in well with them and sort of I, it's got me away brave and well to be fair now. A lot of the work I've gotten is because of the big wheels too, yeah. so it helps having them. Like. Yeah. I'll see you give uh, the pump man a set of wheels to get down to you on as well. Oh, oh you have to look after him. <laughs> you, have to look after so, uh, you have to look after him. <laughs> you take that round out over job to you, that little car. Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's useful now, yeah. even for just yeah. running about bits and pieces yeah. and stuff. I'd not, I'd, I'd feel It'd be surprising how much you'd use it, I suppose, oh, when you bring it along. You'd, be, you'd miss it if you didn't have it. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. For even if the farmer wants to come down and speak to me, he'd just jump on it and come yeah. down to Martino. But for the likes of that, sort of the, how far we are away from the store the other day, I'd feel bad for him if I had to make him walk. Yeah. <laughs> so after you've got most of the slurry out of the way, then what would be your next big job then? Our next big job probably will be grass. There'll be a lot of work yeah. around home and stuff, getting cattle out and rolling, sowing a bit of fertilizer for ourselves and all, you know, but other than that, I'll be mainly just machinery, getting that yeah. overhauled and getting that ready to go. Ready to go. Do you do all the maintenance yourselves or? I try and do a lot of it ourselves. I, if, if it gets a bit complicated, we'd maybe leave it to a, another mechanic or something, you know, but other than that, we try and do everything ourselves. It just sort of keeps the cost in a bit too, you know. So. Yeah. What width are you running at here then? Uh, that double bar's 12 metre. Um, funny, whenever we, we were going into the slurry, I, I came at James O'Kane about a 9 metre. Uh, I wanted to buy an, a new 9 metre and he, he told me no, he's, don't bother. He's, if you're wanting to go to the country and spread slurry to the country, you need a 12 to compete. And This here was coming in second hand. My back reeler and my double bar was second hand and my front was new. Um, but he just he just said, oh look, it's go for the 12, it'll do you a favour and I'm glad I did. For yeah. it, it covers ground, you're not champing as much Yeah. and like, it speeds you up a wee bit too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you ever run on GPS or? I haven't, no, I, I'd love to go on the GPS, I just yeah. haven't done it yet. Um, but no, it'd definitely be a good job. That'd be something for the future like. Oh, that's a goal at some yeah. stage, so it is. At the minute we'll just work the way we can. And, Usually not too bad, the majority of the boys are putting on 3,000 on that acre, so you usually can't see where you've yeah, been unless yeah. it's long grass, you know. Yeah. Well, cheers for having us out today anyway, Thomas. It's no. been nice to come out and see you boys uh, getting on with it. That's right, thank you very much for coming and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully come out and see you again out on the grass, maybe. Yeah, that's good, no Brilliant. problem. Well, cheers, cheers right. again and uh, we'll see you soon. That's right, thank you.